Hey everyone, all right, we're jumping right into it. I am curling up this 14 inch 555 Body Wave Closure Wig. This wig comes from Riku Hair. I have worked with them before and I decided that I wanted to kind of tap into my styling skills. So I decided that I wanted to try out a wig that wasn't too long, wasn't too crazy, it's not a frontal. It's something that I can manage on myself and that I feel that I could manage on someone else. So um, I will be installing this unit on my niece. She's going to be my guinea pig, my muse. Um, she's pretty much going to be my doll, my practice head uh, for, you know, learning or um, teaching myself how to install wigs. Now, granted, I took a wig install class before, um, but that was years ago. So it's somewhat of a what you don't use you lose type of thing so I wanted to brush up on my wig install skills um, before I start offering that service to local clients because I am a wig maker and I want to be able to expand my services and provide more for those who need them so yeah I'm just pretty much curling this hair up once again, it's a body wave wig, and the only way I can wear this pattern, or I'll, I like to see anybody wear this pattern, is straightened or curled. It is versatile in that way, but the natural pattern is not that great. But yeah, I added my final curls and spritzed it. Here's Nevea. I braided her up already a while back. We're going to use the same braids, and I'll be using my lace gel. This is a gel, it's not a lace glue, so it's perfectly safe to use along the hairline, which is what you guys see me doing here, just slicking back her hairline with the gel. But it works super great as a daily hold type of, you know, glue alternative. So I'll have it linked down below. It comes in three different sizes. The one that I showed you guys was the extra large size. It comes in travel size along with a full size. So I'll have a link down below. I'm cleaning the hairline off with some alcohol because I will be using the gel um, to install this wig. I ended up doing a side part, a deep side part in this closure. Just to show you all the versatility of closure wigs, you can part them down the middle, off to the side. You do have a lot of styling options and I felt like this would suit it a lot more. Now the curls did drop, so I will be retouching them later on in the video. What you see me doing here is using my mini shears to cut off the lace. And because I have a little bit of baby hair on the side, I decided to use the small scissors. I am using this level of Ruby Kisses foundation to tint the lace so that it better matches Nevaeh's skin tone. and perfect i'm going to just put it on her head just to make sure that it fits properly adjust the straps if needed and yeah it looks good already and it's not even installed yet all right so here i am using the lace gel to go ahead and prep um for the wig install i just like to use one layer you don't need you don't need that much because it works perfectly with just one layer. Um, I like for it to get tacky a little bit before I go in and lay that lace. Get all that hair up out the way like so, so that none of that hair get on gets onto the gel. And yeah, let's go ahead and pop this bad boy right onto that product. If you're sensitive to a lot of adhesives, glues, and things like that, this gel is perfect for you. I've been using it for almost two years now, and I haven't had any irritation along my hairline or anything like that, so I definitely highly recommend it. Along with the uh, lace gel, I'll be using another product from my product line, and it's going to be the Lace Holding Spray. This is going to help that lace gel just kind of cure a little bit more. Um, it gives it more of a stronger hold because she is going to be wearing this to school for the week. So I do want this install to last a lot longer. So granted, we're not using glue. We're just using the lace gel and the spray. And the melt band, of course, is helping to just melt everything 
together and yeah i'm just going to refresh the curls um refresh the part that i put into this wig and just just give it a little oomph okay because i did curl the wig on a mannequin head like a few days ago um and yeah by now it's definitely dropped but the pattern that it gave this hair is chef's kiss like it looks so good and the hair itself is so soft like I was really impressed with the quality of this unit like it was so so soft just really good affordable hair so yeah you guys see me here just touching up the curls a little bit I really didn't have to touch up too much just you know what's framing her face and I'm using this chi keratin hairspray so that the curls could last a little longer and voila here's what we're looking like it looks so good and y'all this install might have taken like in real time maybe 30 minutes 30 minutes 45 minutes max so in under an hour we did this install so that's why i decided to start off with a closure as far as like um getting my hands back into hairstyling and things like that she is definitely feeling this look is giving like a 19 something 1960s 1950s housewife type of thing i just like it i like it so cute and being that um some of her hair is coming out I decided to just swoop her edges down a little bit just in case if she wanted to put some of the hair behind her ear but yeah so i was very happy with this install you guys let me know what you think down below in the comments let me know how you feel about your girl getting behind the chair oh my gosh i'm so excited about this journey and i can't wait to share more all the information to this wig will be down below and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.